So what the heck is Snake Day anyway? <laughs> All that's coming up right now on this episode of Riders in the Storm. Uh, this is my uh, morning walk. I'm out uh, walking as this uh, lady here just pulled her truck right into this, cut red flags and everything all the way across the road to, for her to see, but she still ran smack into it. How you doing, sir? Good. This looks like a fellow employee helping her out of a jam. Wow. I don't know what this is. Could be winds. I knocked it over. I mean, it's possible. I've never seen them get that uh, intense or that rough or that strong out here, but it could happen. And, uh, geez. Now it's just kind of like a landmark to get to the uh, park where we're at right now. As you come off the freeway, you can see the freeway in the background there. Wow. I'd go look in the back end, but it's none of my business. You know what I mean? Oh, hi. You riders in the storm, right? How you doing? The name is Joe. I don't think I've ever met you. Well, I watch your channel, and the reason you ain't got no one following you is because you ain't got no half-naked young girls running around on your channel, and them, I think they call them coochie girls. Well, okay, well, we are a little older, but, uh, I, you know, I thought about that. Maybe I need to have some, I don't have nobody like that. I, I don't understand, uh, but I get your point. <laughs> Snake facts. Here we go. The top 10 most important things you need to know about these critters. Rattlesnakes are venomous snakes that are found throughout North and South America. They are named for the rattles on the end of their tails, which they use as a warning signal when threatened. Uh, they're very territorial. Rattlesnakes are pit vipers, meaning they have heat sensing organs on the sides of their head that allow them to detect prey. I never knew that. They primarily eat small mammals such as rodents, but also can consume birds, lizards, and other snakes. Snakes on snakes. Rattlesnakes venom is primarily used to subdue their prey, but it can also be dangerous to humans, causing pain, swelling, and even, in some cases, death. Rattlesnakes are generally shy and avoid confrontation. Thank you, Lord but they will defend themselves if threatened. They can vary in size from less than a foot long to eight friggin' feet long, depending on their species. I don't know what kind they have down here in Arizona. Anyway, rattlesnakes have distinctive patterns of colors that help them blend in with their surroundings and make them difficult to spot. Oh my gosh, you can almost step on them before you see them. But they play an important role in ecosystems as both predators and prey. Rattlesnake populations are declining in some areas due to the habits, uh, habitations, the loss, and human persecution, making them a conservation concern in some regions. I think they're going to be okay. What do you think? Let me know down in the comments. <music> Thank you.
So what is uh, Snake Day? Well, if you have a puppy, it's probably pretty important, uh, especially around here. But I learned this phrase from the folks that are living around in this area, and I'm taking you for a little walk to show you around. This is uh, Arizona on a beautiful day. It's probably about 60 degrees right now, but it'll get warmer. But this is early in the morning. I always take a walk early in the morning. But Snake Day is, uh, we, uh, that was pretty cool when I first heard it. It's uh, where a lot of snowbirds, see that sign, snowbirds, uh, leave. Uh, when, you <laughs> when it starts getting warm enough or hot enough uh, that snakes come out, uh, they call that snake day. That's uh, when it's time to uh, gather up all your stuff, pack everything up, and go north because uh, the rattlesnakes start coming out. And what's kind of neat about them, and I've noticed that a couple other places that we've camped, uh, the same situation is uh, basically when you uh, get out and uh, start walking around, you'll notice them pulled out, strung out. They don't curl up, they don't coil up, they just lay straight out on the road or big open area where there's no brush or anything and they just kind of absorb the sun for a while. And that's when they're the most docile. You could actually walk up, I've seen them grab them by the tail on golf courses on the green and just throw them back out into the brush. It's pretty interesting to watch and to see. That's Nick Day. If you have any questions or comments, man, uh, leave them down in the comments and we'll try to answer them. But when we start to see those first snakes get out on the ground, especially those coming out of hibernation and laying across the main road, this blacktop here, uh, that's when it's kind of uh, time for us to pack it all up and get ready to get the heck out of here. Go up to uh, someplace warmer. We got a whole season planned, places that we intend to go this year. Going up to see grandbabies, Colorado, maybe even go up to South Dakota and look around there, our home state. Thanks for watching, guys. Like and subscribe. Tell your friends about us. Hit that notification bell. Really helps out the channel, especially if you give it a thumbs up so that people can see this great, tremendous content. Don't Thank you. Impressions on Snake Day, from what I hear. If they start getting too close, then we're leaving. We're out of here. What do you mean by too close? Well, I don't want them, you know, where I can see them, where I think that they may be a danger to us. So as soon as we see them, like I was trying to tell people already, that when they lay out on the road, they're trying to get warm, coming out of hibernation. Yeah. And when we yeah. see that, then we know there are probably going to be a few of them out. But right now it's been... Yeah, we haven't seen anything. The only thing we've seen are... I saw a gopher the other day. Been too cold. Yeah, it's been too cold, but... I bet you they'll be coming soon. It's almost the end of uh, March, and we haven't yeah, we seen have any. We've got a week left in March, and I haven't seen any snakes. I haven't seen somebody out here found a scorpion, but they were digging underneath some wood. But <laughs> they brought it over. And we were <laughs> yeah, while we we're having dinner, they wanted it over and brought it over for show and tell. Yeah, for the clubhouse. Said, hey, uh, <laughs> well, see what I found. To be huh. fair, it was before we started eating, but still. <laughs> Golly, that was crazy. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, there's been a scorpion here, and um, I've seen, well, we saw that razorback type pig, that uh, javelina. Yeah, I don't have any footage on the javelina. Yeah, we've seen a javelina, we've seen coyotes, we've seen a gopher. That's about it, really. And we're glad. Yep. Okay, well, say hi to everybody. Hi, everybody. Bye. Hi, everyone. Bye. Oh, wait, one more thing before you go. I was going to just end this and, you know, do some more editing and get it ready to put up on the YouTube channel. But i got to take a moment and talk about this place uh, called the Tin Top Bar and Grill, which is in Wintersburg, Arizona. Uh, it was a pretty nice place. So uh, we got invited by the uh, escapers here that uh, come here every year in the park and... Uh, to their uh, trivia night, which was kind of exciting because, uh, well, Patty likes playing trivia, and we did pretty good for our first night. We can actually win a gift certificate or something like that. There's a lot of people there playing it. They set it up kind of like in uh, Family Feud uh, style, so they ask, you know, the top 100 answers, you know, and then a fierce match there, you get a certain amount of points, and the most points you have at the end of the night, you're the winner. Uh, and this uh, right here is Patty thinking about her answers. I caught her on film thinking about it. And so it was a pretty neat place, and we really enjoyed that. Um, the other, last thing I want to put on here is this friggin' little bag. You know, I like Chick-fil-A as much as anybody else, but why 
You stop on the side of the road, I guess, because you're traveling. You eat your Chick-fil-A. You tie up your bag nice and neat. And then you just leave it out on the ground for somebody else to pick up. Come on, guys. Pack it in. Pack it out. Uh, there's just so much garbage and trash all along I-10 and almost every other freeway, almost every other place on the planet. You pigs, pick it up. Pack it in. Pack it up. Uh, pack it in. Pack it out. Please. Thanks for watching, guys. Catch you on the next vlog.